Prince William and Kate, Princess of Wales, refuse to let Prince Harry and Meghan Markle derail them, sources have claimed. The Wales's three-day trip to Boston, Massachusetts, was clouded by tensions as Netflix released a trailer for the Sussex's upcoming documentary series on the eve of William's Earthshot Prize Award ceremony in the city. Kensington Palace expressed its determination to stay the course last week with a spokesman for the Wales's insisting, we won't be distracted by other things this week. Close aides have reportedly revealed Kensington Palace's strategy was simply to ignore the Sussexes. One royal source, quoted by the Sunday Times, said, I think they're so paranoid about ensuring everything is foot forward and moving past the last, disastrous Caribbean tour, they don't want to take any risks. William and Kate's tour of the Caribbean was marred by protests over the British Empire, calls for reparations from the UK and an apology for slavery. King might have to take action and strip titles to clamp down on Prince Harry's attacks Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's latest attack on the royal family could force King Charles to strip the couple of their titles. The Sussexes have released an explosive trailer of their potentially imminent Netflix series in what royal commentators describe as their latest attempt at upstaging the Prince and Princess of Wales. King Charles could finally execute his royal power, as Harry and Meghan prepare to once again unleash their truth. Some media outlets also criticized images from the tour which showed the Waleses shaking hands with children in Jamaica through wire fencing. The then Duke of Cambridge said at the end of the tour that it had brought questions about the past and future into sharper focus. Kate and William's trip to the US last week coincided with a row about racism in the royal household after a black. British charity boss was repeatedly asked where she really came from by a former lady-in-waiting of the late Queen Elizabeth II. Ngozi Fulani, founder of the charity Sister Space, expressed shock at her treatment by Lady Susan Hussey. Read about whether the London smog could happen again Lady Susan, the Prince of Wallace godmother, resigned from the royal household and apologized after she repeatedly challenged Miss Fulani when she said was British at the Queen Consort's reception highlighting violence against women and girls. William, who was on the trip to Boston at the time, backed the decision of his godmother to resign as a lady of the household. A Kensington Palace spokesman also issued a strong statement, saying, racism has no place in our society. The comments were unacceptable and it is right that the individual has stepped aside with immediate effect. Buckingham Palace moved swiftly in response to a series of tweets in which Ms. Fulani conveyed her side of the story on Wednesday morning. The palace said it took the incident at Tuesday's reception extremely seriously and had investigated immediately. It added that the individual concerned had resigned and apologized and that the comments were unacceptable and deeply regrettable. The palace did not name Lady Susan. Ms. Fulani has since been invited by the palace to meet King Charles and Queen Consort Camilla, though further details have not been disclosed. The episode recalled comments made last year by Meghan, the Duchess of Sussex, in an interview with American TV host Oprah Winfrey. Meghan, who is mixed race, alleged a member of the royal family asked about the color of her baby's skin when she was pregnant with her first child, Archie. Meanwhile, the royal family will be bracing themselves for Harry and Meghan's Netflix documentary series which is expected to be aired on Thursday, December 8. The one-minute trailer, which featured never-before-seen private photographs of the couple, was released on the second day of the Prince and Princess of Wallace high-profile trip to Boston. In one section of the footage, 
Megan appears to wipe away tears with both hands as they stream down her face, while Harry sits and tilts his head right back, seemingly in distress. The couple are heard being asked, why did you want to make this documentary? To which Harry says, no one sees what's happening behind closed doors. I had to do everything I could to protect my family. Megan adds, when the stakes were this high, doesn't it make more sense to hear our story from us? Images of William and Kate with Harry and Meghan at the Commonwealth Day service in 2020, the Sussexes' final public appearance as senior working royals, also feature among the trailer's images. There are also happy shots of the Sussexes kissing while Meghan sits on a kitchen island, as newlyweds dancing with joy at their evening wedding do, cuddling in a photo booth and Meghan cradling her bump while pregnant. But the Duchess is also pictured with her hand over her face as she sits cross-legged on a chair holding a phone, though it is not clear in this image whether she is crying. Insiders have said William is no longer willing to allow wild claims about racism and other misdeeds to go unanswered. Senior aides have been told to watch the six-part series and issue a swift rebuttal to any dubious claims. In doing so, William will reportedly ditch the long-standing royal mantra of never complain, never explain, 